Welcome to the Kelly Fincham Guide to Sound Slides and Dropbox. So, before we start this tutorial, I just want to emphasize that today we're going to be working with a folder full of JPEGs and an MP3. If at this point you don't have your images assembled as JPEGs in a folder, and if you don't have your audio as an MP3, stop this recording, put your images in a folder and get your audio into MP3. If you've done that, let's continue. So the first thing you'll do is launch Sound Slides, and when it opens, you will see a screen that looks something like this one here. New, create a project, old, load a project. So we're gonna be creating a new project. So click on new, and the first thing it's going to ask you is what are you going to call it and where are you going to save it? So we're going to call this one Assignment 10 because we're on Assignment 10 and make sure that you save it onto your desktop. It is so much easier to work with sound slides if you know where everything is. So creating an overall folder on your desktop will help you. So click on Save and there we go. The next screen will ask you to load a folder of JPEGs and or audio. You don't need to use audio to make a sound slide, but you know, it's called sound slide for a reason. So I think it works much better if you have audio. Okay, so we'll click on JPEG. And again, it says choose a folder of JPEGs. Now we can see that sound slide has created the assignment 10 folder and popped it on the desktop up here. And I have a folder on my desktop with assignment 10 pics. So I'll open that and it will now load those images in for me. When this is finished, we will upload the sound. Again, it needs to be an MP3. So we'll give this a couple of seconds to finish up and then we'll upload the audio. That's fine. Click on sound and I have a 90 second clip saved as an MP3 on the desktop. Click open and it'll upload the audio for us. Now this will actually assemble the slideshow for you and there it goes. It couldn't be more simple. Down here we have the um, timeline, so you can drag all of these um, items around to adjust your timing. I want to keep mine as it is because I know that I have nine images and I have 90 seconds, so this works for me. They will change every 10 seconds. Now if I wanted to change around the order in which the images appeared, you just drag and drop like this. So I'm going to drag and drop these ones here because I didn't, you know, I added in a couple of pictures of outdoors and really this is a slideshow about abandoned churches in a town called Carlingford in Ireland. So there's my images. Next in we move into slide info. This is where you put in the caption. Uh, it is very, very important to put in a caption for your slideshow. Uh, you need it for the grade and you also need it just to make the slideshow look good and to look more professional. So an abandoned church in Carlingford in County Louth now, I'm going to cheat a bit and I'm going to use this as my caption for all of my photographs. Uh, you can't cheat, but I have to do this because otherwise we'd be sitting here all day waiting for me to finish typing. So we keep going here. And here, so this is just Carlingford. So we'll just call it Carlingford. And we're going to the next one. Now we take out those words there, Carlingford again, go on to the next one. So we're back to our abandoned church. Next one. And that should be it, I think. Okay. Now it's very important that you don't use update image here. Sound slides is very clever. It is storing that information as you type it in. And when you hit save down the bottom, it will save your changes. Okay. Update image means that you want to replace that image. And that's not what we're doing at the moment. So you can see here we have details. We also have uh, the movement. You can reset the movement here. Uh, move over to template. We can change the presets on the background. So for here, I'm going to change this one to black. Uh, fonts, you can change the fonts around if you want to. Uh, the transition, the type of transition. So I've selected crossfade here and it will, have, it will take one second to happen. Now under shell, shell is important. The reason we're going to change the shell is because the default creates a flash file and we want this to be accessible on an iPad. So we're going to change that to HTML5 compatible. All right, project info. We're going to put in a headline. So abandoned church in, so we're going to call this abandoned churches. 
uh, and my mouse is having some sort of a fit of Carlingford. That's all we're going to call it. Now, credits. Very important to make sure that the work that you have, uh, you own the copyright to. So make sure you specify it here. So I'm going to say Music and Images by Sean MacPhail. And that's it. I'm good to go. So let's just recap what we've done here. We have our slides. We have them in the right order. We have our sound and our timing working the way we want to. Slide info, we've put in captions for every photograph. Template, we've changed it to a black background and we've put it into HTML5. How do we know that? Because we can check it under shell. So make sure you check under shell that it's HTML5 compatible. Project info is where we put in the headline and the credits for the overall uh, project. Audio, that's where you would re-upload audio if you don't like the existing audio. When you re-upload audio, it plays around with the images. But I think you will see that SoundSlides puts projects together so quickly, it doesn't matter if you need to go back and do over your assignment. It's very, very quick. So again, slides, slide info, template, project info, and audio, all good to go. So we hit save. It's saved. Now the next thing we need to do is make sure that this actually works. So when we hit test, SoundSlides creates an example of what this will look like online. Now it's very important just to note by looking at the URL up here that this, even though it looks like it's online, isn't actually online. We know that by looking at the file, its local host, its users, it's on our desktop. So let's play it and make sure that it works the way we expect it to. Okay, so you can see here how the images are changing every 10 seconds. We can hear the, the audio is working fine behind it. If we come down here and click on captions, we can see the captions. If we click on credits, we can see who the piece is by. Again, very important to make sure that you have captions and credits on your slideshow. So I'm just going to let this finish out. It's got 17 seconds left to run. Okay, so we've come to the end of that there. So that's great. We've now seen that this works. We have tested it. Everything that we've put together is fine. Now we need to put it online. So to do that, save, test, export. Export is the final one. So we hit export and it makes the slideshow for us. Now, regardless of whether you have a PC or a Mac, you're going to see a folder called Publish to Web suddenly pop up there on your screen. Publish to Web is part of your assignment 10 folder and it contains all of the items that will make your slideshow work. Uh, this is the Swiffer, um, the flash file and this here, the index.html, that is the landing page for your slideshow. So we need to make sure that we can put all of these elements online and then make sure that the address includes index.html which then will call in all of these elements. So. We're going to close out all of these screens here and we're going to open up Dropbox. Now, remember I said earlier on to make sure that you have Dropbox installed on your computer. It makes this process a lot easier rather than using the web interface. So open your Dropbox folder and we're going to copy I copy everything, that way I know I have a backup if something goes wrong. At the end of this project, you can come back and clear out all your duplicates. But I just find as a workflow, it's easier if I use copies. So I'm going to copy assignment 10, that entire folder. And before I copy it, let's take a look inside it. See how many folders SoundSlides has created. 
all of the files, all of the different images, the thumbnails, the full size images, the audio the edits, etc. Everything is in there and you didn't have to do a thing. You just had to press three buttons, save, test and export. So we're going to copy assignment 10. We're going to open up your public folder. It has to be the public folder because that's where we're going to get the link to share it. Uh, because you've actually created a mini website, that's why we need to use the public folder. So once you've opened your public folder, paste in assignment number 10 and then just wait for that to update. Alrighty. Now we can see the little blue thing there going around and around. That means that Dropbox is busy updating this folder and it's going to take a minute or two because there are some huge files there. Actually, it took much less. So we open up assignment 10 and we navigate over to publish to web. We open publish to web and we're going to right click on index.html. Remember where I said the index.html was the landing page? So right click on index.html and we go move down. Now this again will be the same on a PC or a Mac. Once you right click on index.html, navigate down to the Dropbox option. And now we want to copy the public link. So we copy the public link. It's copied on the clipboard. So now we want to test this. We want to make sure that this is working. So open up your browser. Paste in your public link. And again, now you can see how this has all changed. This isn't showing local host. This is now showing, this has been published online on the web on Dropbox. This is the user. It's folder assignment 10 published to web index.html. So once you've pasted that link in, click enter and then turn away from the screen for two seconds. Voila. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, go back, retrace your steps and see what you need to do differently. But all going well, you too will have created a sound slide in less than 15 minutes. Okay, thank you very much. So this was the Kelly Fincham easy way to use sound slides and Dropbox.